how to run the FXCM trading station desktop uh, simulator. It's pretty straightforward. It works exactly like uh, FXCM. Uh, you just have to download the data. Uh, it's all part of the process. So let's begin. So top left, <clears throat> uh, this is FXCM trading station desktop dashboard. Uh, so you run FXCM, you log into your account, and then we click on system top left uh, we want to go into simulation mode which is the third thing down on the drop down menu and then we want to click on new so i want to start a new uh, there is options to open previously saved ones but we're going to do new uh, you get a warning switching to simulation mode will end your current session are you sure you want to proceed yes uh, if there's any particular indicators that you, you plan on using have them uh, installed first because you don't want to, have to Switch it off and switch it back on again. Okay, so uh, simulation mode is starting. We have to set it up. Uh, everything can be just left at default because all we want is to, to play back the candles and let us you know, interact with it and practice our trades. So, yeah, leave those default. You can change them if you wish, uh, but I, I don't need to. So, this is the important page in the setup. Uh, you're going to download market data. That you're going to then trade off so pick a date that you want the data to start from then uh, let's pick uh monday the 5th of march uh you don't want to pick a saturday or sunday because there's no trading uh, especially saturday i don't know if you trade on a sunday or not until you know uh, so you want to finish date in today and then you want to pick your occurrence of pair you can pick more than one you can pick all of them if you want so i'm going to pick the euro yen and i'm going to click on next now um it's going to download the market data to my computer uh, i better off doing this in the middle of the week you know like monday to friday because fxcm shut their service sometime on a uh, weekend for server maintenance and you won't be able to download the data, but if you've previously downloaded data, you can still use that data because you have it. So we've downloaded our data and we've got this page, market re margin requirements, don't care. You know, we're just clicking on next down here at the bottom. Commissions, don't care. Simulation parameters, not slippage, non-slippage, doesn't matter. We're just, we just want to get it to start. Uh, it will probably come up like this. All we want is uh, this thing here, the transport bar, play, pause, stop, and speed. This third uh, mark is normal playback. So it's playing back in real time. Up here, super fast playback, and here it slows it down. <clears throat> I tend to use pause and fast. Uh, pause, to let you, you know, get into your trade, work out into your analysis, and then once you've everything in, you put your entry in and all that kind of stuff. You press play and then fast forward and you see if it works. So we don't need all of this stuff. So what we're going to do is hold down the Windows key and press the left button. And that gives us uh, that. The Whatever we pick on this side comes up on this side. So I want my market scope. That's what I want. Uh, obviously, we still don't need this taking up this much space, so we grab it here and pull it across. Yeah, so we're just grabbing that margin bar, whatever it's called, age, and pull it in as small as we can. And then grab this one and pull it over beside. Uh, our market scope has opened up with no charts on it, so we go to layout. Uh, it'll either come up blank like this, which isn't a problem or it'll come up with a chart. It may come up with your default. Uh, from layouts, you can open any you know, any of your saved layouts. It works best with one chart at a time, so opening up 15 charts isn't going to be great. Uh, if it comes up with your default, you know, we just want to get rid of all the stuff that we don't want. We only want one chart, so we're going to X out of these. So we uh, just anything with an X, get rid of it. Yeah, we can X out of that one. And we can exit this one. These indicators don't have an X, so we just 
uh, right click on any space and remove area. If you right click on that color bar, you, you don't get the, the remove item. So it's an empty space, remove area. I'm gonna get rid of the grid, I'm gonna get rid of this indicator. I'm gonna get rid of that. Oops, there we go. Uh, and to put our screen back in the arrangement that we had before, Windows key, right arrow button, and that's us good to go. Uh, when the play button is grayed out, that means that the chart is playing back. And we can test this by moving our speed slider. So we're over here. Um, we're pulling this blob over to the right and it's speeding things up. Oh, we're on the daily chart. What we want to do? Over 30 minutes. Yeah, we can see this these 30 minute candles being born very quickly. Uh, I'll pause it. Uh, the unfortunate thing is you can't change the speed when it's paused, so you have to play. Uh, you can slide it or you can click to the left or the right and it will jump across. Uh, the chart works just like any other market scope chart. Uh, you, know, you right click, you can create an entry, buy, sell, stop, limit, all that stuff. Uh, if you want to load indicators yet, you just you know, pull up your indicators and uh, you know, load it on. That's the market sessions indicator that I use. So that when I'm in simulator mode, I am not trading during the Asian session. You know, I tend to only trade London sometimes, but in New York, I prefer just a London session. And that's it. So you, know, you open FXM, click on system, top left, click on simulator mode, click on new, just uh, make sure you fill in the market data, download page, and then next, 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 start. And then, like the next time I start up this, it should come up in this layout, whatever chart I've picked. And that's it.